Hey everyone, Ben here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to start with a story. At the beginning of 2020, I bought Automobilista 2 in beta. I was still relatively new to sim racing, had heard amazing things about Razer and the work they did on the first Automobilista title, and decided to opt in to the half price offer that was available at the time. For a few weeks I had a reasonably good time playing with what was explicitly unfinished content and was really anticipating the full release. When it arrived, I was underwhelmed. It was quite clearly still not finished. And so began a cycle of booting the sim up once a month when updates arrived in the hope that improvements would be made. And although they were, each month I'd play AMS2 it was really noticeable that some fairly fundamental things were just off, potentially with the engine itself. By this stage I was playing lots of Race Room, Assetto Corsa and Assetto Corsa Competizione, and although each of those games are distinctive, none felt as alien as AMS2. In itself that wouldn't necessarily have been a problem, but the things that made AMS2 feel strange also meant it was ultimately not an enjoyable experience to drive. Cars felt bouncy, steering was somehow simultaneously sluggish and snappy, none of it felt that authentic and I personally found it next to impossible to drive consistently. Fast forward to November 2021 and somewhat on a whim I decided to give it another go. And wow have Razer been busy. Now this video is not intended to be a review of AMS2, I've simply not put the hours into the game for that yet. But so much have I enjoyed playing the sim in recent days, and so surprised was I by that fact, I simply had to make a video about it. Now it remains very far from perfect, but then which racing sim even gets close to that? They're almost all broken or unfinished in their own ways. But AMS2 might just be the most outright fun you can have with a racing sim at the end of 2021. Now that's a big claim to make, and of course it's a subjective one. Believe me, nobody is more surprised than I am to make it. So let me explain what I mean. Increasingly, I've become aware that the thing which matters most to me in sim racing is feeling immersed in the experience. For lots of people, that immediately makes you think of the graphical experience or whether you can run VR at a stable rate. But really the thing that properly immerses you in a sim is the driving physics force feedback and well, general feel of the game. This was, in my opinion, where AMS2 used to suffer big time. But a great many of the flaws that I used to observe in the game have it seems slowly but surely been either eliminated or significantly improved. Cars no longer seem to bounce quite so weirdly, the handling is more precise and predictable although you may still get a little bit of that snap of understeer to oversteer mid corner. The force feedback feels a bit more intuitive. Cars feel distinctive and although I haven't driven every class in the game, I've tested out a selection of classic touring cars, Brazilian stock cars, junior prototypes, formula cars, GT3 and GT1. And honestly each feels pretty great. I'm not the most technical of sim racers so I still struggle to articulate the ways in which different cars feel different or different sims evolve between updates. But the best way I can describe the experience of driving AMS2 now compared to say 12 months ago is it just feels more predictable and more authentic. But to be clear that's authentic, not necessarily realistic. Compared to Race Room or ACC, the cars do feel more engaging and perhaps even more accessible. But that snappiness, the ease with which you can save oversteer or just mash the throttle on occasion, does leave me feeling some of the fundamentals of the physics engine still need working on. Work which is in fairness promised for the next title update, with the role of the diff in particular being a focus. Yet even if the handling and physics feel a little bit less realistic than those other titles, I just can't get away from the fact that the cars I've driven so far have all offered tons of fun. I mean really a hugely enjoyable driving experience. Since I last dedicated significant time to AMS2, the content available in the game has grown significantly. Now at the time of recording I haven't actually bought any of the paid DLC, but even the stock game has grown with free car releases across a number of classes. 
but the thing which really makes AMS2 sing is the content that you can virtually only find in a Razer title. Check out the footage running now of the 2021 Brazilian stock cars at Cascavel. It's a marriage made in heaven. I dare say some of the sprawling roster still needs work, but I've been really impressed with the ways in which the content I've driven so far all feels to a higher quality standard than when I first picked up the title. The stock cars and the GT3 cars in particular have been transformed. Not only are there an unbelievable number of options to mix and match content, but the real weather system that has been built upon the legacy of the excellent Project Cars 2 weather options is frankly superb. In short, you can pick any day in history and the game will import real weather data for your track of choice into the game, which will ebb and flow as the time passes, just as it did in real life. The results are fantastic. The race playing in the background now is the P3 Junior prototype category at Ibarra in Ecuador. It features real weather from spring this year with light rain fluctuating throughout the race. And because live track has also been developed, the way the water gathers in certain parts of the track is kicked up by other cars, affects tyre temperatures and grip, provides a fantastic amount of immersion. No two races need ever be the same again. Frankly, no two laps are the same given the level of track evolution that is possible. I honestly defy any sim racer who says playing around with this system didn't bring a big grin to their face. So as you can hopefully tell by now, I've been really enjoying my time in AMS2. There's a whole other host of pluses that I haven't yet touched upon. The AI has come on leaps and bounds. I mean, really, the sim has gone from having dreadful AI to some of the best I've seen in sim racing. Performance is fantastic, even in VR, and like the AI, the graphics themselves are potentially some of the best in all of sim racing, certainly that you can get to run on a low-end system. But of course there are also areas which remain in need of attention. The custom championships, although more fully implemented now, are still a little lacking. Multiplayer is in need of serious attention. In fact, if your only interest is online play, outside of a league, AMS2 is really unlikely to meet your needs. Setting up my wheel was quite fiddly, and some of the UI and menus are a little counterintuitive. And yes, some of those core oddities of the physics and handling do remain. Maybe they always will, given the madness engine that the game is running off. But even if they do, the big surprise takeaway I've had from my recent play is even without the range of further updates that will arrive for AMS2 in 2021 and beyond, the game offers fantastic fun now in its current state. It provides experiences that frankly other sims would struggle to replicate. I found it easy to hop in and enjoy a race with minimal fuss, something which is really important for me given the minimal spare time that I have to race. Now we can all agree that waiting nearly two years to reach the level of quality which is now in the sim is quite ridiculous. But as I've already mentioned, AMS2 is hardly unique in the sim racing genre for that. But really, I did not expect to be making this video in 2021. I had all but written AMS2 off. But now, I think I might have been wrong to do so. As with all things in life, so much comes down to personal preference. But my own view now is there is lots and lots of fun to be had with AMS2. So there you go. Let me know in the comments your AMS2 story whether you agree or disagree with the points I've made, and if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please do remember to leave a like and get subscribed for more sim racing content. In particular, let me know if you'd like to see more AMS2 on the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.